Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, we will find the reaction forces on simply supported beam. So we have a beam here, you can see it is simply supported beam. And we have two forces, point uh, forces, point loads acting on the beam. So the first one we have 12 kN acting at 3 meter. And then with additional 2 meter, 18 kN forces acting are 1 meter from the left. 18 kN forces acting. So we will find the reaction forces on both the support here. In the previous video, we saw that there are two reaction forces on the pin support, which is this one. Let's say this is point A and this is point B. So we will have two reaction forces AY and AX. And we will have by only one reaction force at point b now why i am taking ay upward and ax in the right direction this is assumption i have assumed that that ay are the reaction in the vertical direction is acting upward this is my assumption by acting upward is my another assumption and ax acting to the right is my another assumption now we will solve the problem and we will see at the end if we get the same sign, the positive sign for AY, AX, it means our assumption is right. But if we get, let's say, the negative sign, it means our assumption was wrong and then we will change the direction of the reaction force. So before starting the, the question, I will set my sign convention. I will take all my right direction forces positive, upward forces positive and clockwise moment I will take it positive. So keep it in mind before starting solving the problem you should have your sign convention in mind. So this is my sign convention for this problem. Now we have the simply supported beam before solving the, the reaction forces we have to keep this in mind that this beam is at equilibrium and it is a stable design. So if it is in equilibrium, we can apply any of the conditions of equilibrium to this beam to solve any unknown. So we have three conditions of equilibrium, some of the forces in the x direction equal to zero, some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero, and some of the moment about any point in this beam must be equal to zero. Now to find Ax, if I take sum of all the forces, in the x direction equal to 0 so I have to write all the forces in the x direction so what are the forces on this beam in the x direction there is only one force which is this Ax so means Ax is equal to 0 so one reaction at pin support which is Ax is equal to 0 now we need to find Ay and By so to find By what I can do if I take moment about point A, so moment due to AY and AX will be zero and I will have only one unknown which is BY and I can find it easily. So let me take sum of the moment about point A equal to zero. Now I have to write equation for this. So see what are the forces producing moment about point A. Yes, we have 12 we have 18 and we have by so 12 kN is producing clockwise or anti clockwise we have to see this you see 12 kN will be producing in this direction clockwise so by my sign convention clockwise moments are positive so i will write 12 times 3 this is the 3 meter distance and it is positive i will write like this. then again i have 8, 18 kN which is again producing clockwise moment, you see. So I will write plus 18 times the distance. Distance from here is 3 plus 2, which is 5 meters. Then I have BY. Now BY is also producing moment about point A. So BY is producing clockwise or anti-clockwise? If you look into BY, it is producing anti-clockwise moment. So I will write minus by times total distance 
from a point A to point B, which is 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6 feet. And that's it. This is equal to 0. To simplify this, I will just 12 times 3, 36 plus 90 minus 6 by equal to 0. So this will be 126 equal to 6 by or we can say that by is equal to 21 kilonewton. Now look here, by is 21 kilonewton. The sign here is positive. What does it mean? It means that the initial assumed direction for by was upward and we get positive sign. Here also our sign convention say upwards are positive. So means our assumed direction was right and by is acting upward. So this is reaction at the roller support at point P. Now what is left? Ay is left. So to find Ay what I can do? I can use another condition of equilibrium which is sum of all the forces in the upward direction must be equal to 0 in the y direction upward or downward all we have to take. So sum of all the forces in the y direction must be equal to 0. I will write equation for this. So what are the forces? Ay is acting upward. So I will write Ay. Then 12 kN and 18 kN are acting downward. So by downward, by my side convention, downward forces must be negative. So minus 12, minus 18 and plus By because By is acting upward. So plus By equal to 0. But I know By is 21 kN. So I will substitute By here. So Ay minus 12 minus 18 plus 21 equal to 0. So by solving this, I can find Ay is equal to minus 18 minus 12 is minus 30 and plus 21 is equal to minus 9. So if I bring it onto the right side of the equation, it will be plus 9 kilonewton. So plus 9 kilonewton is the reaction force at Ay. So these three were the unknown Ay, Ax, Ay and B1. So we found Ax is 0, By is 21 kilonewton and Ay is 9 kilonewton. This is how we find reaction on simply supported B. That's it.